What's up guys, this is Coy with Baker Forge and Tool. I'm Josh with Primitive Woodsman, and this is a look at the 2022 Blade Show After Party in our shop. Yep, we have got all kinds of cool stuff planned out. We got a bunch of smiths coming from all over. We're gonna be doing 3D printed mosaic Damascus, ax throwing, ax making, knife making, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be a good, good time. Yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, so day one of the hammer in, we started making some 3D canister mosaic Damascus. Um, you can see the guys here are welding up canisters and filling them up with powder. Um, I had already printed these patterns um, on a 3D printer a couple of days ago in preparation, but uh, here we're just putting it all together. It was really fun working with all these smiths of different uh, skill levels. Everybody got a chance to work on the power hammer and the presses, uh, working down these canister mosaics. Um, it really was a good time. Once we got the canisters rolled down to final dimension, got them perfectly square and trued up, we set the canisters aside to let them cool down and moved into some axe throwing. This was a real hit. We had a whole bunch of axes um, on hand and everybody loved throwing the axes. It was, it was quite fun. As the evening progressed, we brought in the catered barbecue and everybody chowed down after a long day of forging and preparing to forge well into the night. Just make the best looking knife you can make out of a mason iron. Oh, I thought you were making the blade on that end. Never mind. We're good. I got it. I got it. You don't get any other materials. <laughs> good. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> hey, you're you're just heating up, so I'm ahead. Yeah, there you go. Just make the best looking knife you can make out of a masonry knife. Does that work well together? No. It doesn't exist yet. Alright, all. It killed now. Brennan from Yalhalla Forge brought some masonry nails, and we started up a competition 
to who could forge the best masonry nail knife out of one tiny masonry nail. And boy, that was a lot of fun. Forging a knife out of a little nail turned out to be quite tricky due to the fact that the heat is absorbed out of those things by that 400 pound anvil fairly quickly. So it was a trick uh, keeping them hot, but it, was, uh, it really was a lot of fun. While everyone was working on making a small knife out of a nail, Brennan decided to tackle the world's tiniest knife out of the very tip of a nail, as seen here with him working on one of the little tiny anvils. It really turned out pretty cool. He even quenched it. Look at that, perfect temperature, right? Tiny quench! There we go. As it got later in the evening, people started working on some other projects. Uh, Brendan also picked up some pure silver that he brought with him, and we started to work on laminating that into a billet of Gomai steel, as seen here by Cole on the power hammer. It was a tricky thing to, to work on, but uh, very fun, and it ended up turning out to be a wonderful success. While Cole was still working on the silver billet, Brandon picked up a set of tongs and heated up some ADCRV2 in the forge and started working on a frame handled integral chef knife. Shapes are like pretty symmetrical and everything too. Like They're real clean. Yeah. That came out. Sick. 
You need to get some of that cheap like Mexican bacon. The other one came out well too. So day two picks up with checking out some of that mosaic Damascus from yesterday, along with Brandon continuing to work and draw out his chef knife. So next we moved over to the other side of the shop into a different bay where Josh has a forging set up with a forge and an anvil and they started making some rasp hawks. So that's taking some rasp files and flattening them out, flipping them, turning them over, bending them into a U and forge welding some bits in there. Um, they used some Damascus and some Damascus Gomai chunks that we had laying around and uh, they actually turned out really, really cool. It's like a micro version of my full tank. During this time, Brendan also jumped on the silver billet and started to make a beautiful sax knife out of it. He and Josh kind of put their heads together on design and um, took turns working on the blade, profile, grinding. Josh put a nice fuller in it. Very cool, very cool build. silver billet heat treated which was super cool to watch um, it's hard to capture on video just how white that silver is compared to like say nickel um, nickel is much more yellow compared to pure silver and the pure silver just stood out like crazy almost a bluish white tinge to it All right, guys, well, that is the conclusion of the hammer in. That was two days of back-to-back -back projects. We had a bunch of smiths in here from all over. We made canister mosaic Damascus. We actually made three patterns. Um, we made a, sil a pure silver Sanmai billet with silver, pure silver running through it. That was really fun to work on, you know, way out of our comfort zone. Um, but it was a success, so that was really cool. Um, what else did we do, Josh? We had a tiny knife hammer challenge out of masonry nails, which was pretty fun. Uh, everybody took a whack at doing a knife out of that. But we also made some rasp hawks. This one's got a Damascus bit in it. That was a ton of fun. 
um, lots of throwing and stuff in this one already. Um, yeah, yeah, good food, good times, good hanging out. Well, a little late night action on Monday was oof, a lot of fun. Very late. Um, We're going to do it again. Yeah, we'll definitely Next be year. doing it again. So stay tuned. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.